And hello again, my fellow Rome 2 players. Uh, Rip here in a full third, third, and could be the last game of my match against Inquisitor of Agasa. Mm, as I probably already mentioned, I was quite happy with the first game. I was quite unhappy about second game because it's my stupidity that lost it. Uh, and. Now, now I kinda, I'm kinda not confident, obviously not confident. I, I feel like I, I'm not gonna make a comeback, obviously, I'm not, uh, in my opinion it's, I don't want to sound cocky, but I feel like I'm losing mainly because of lack of uh, uh, tournament experience, because I don't feel that much pressure from Inquisitor, to be honest. Like I feel weaknesses in his play, which, which is possible to use, which I could probably be using if I have a more clear vision and if my faction picks are a bit smarter. But so far, I'm clearly overplayed. In the first game, I was overplayed in terms of faction pick, uh, and in second game, I was absolutely clearly overplayed. He baited me into charging his cavalry. Um, thought like f I was fully dominated there. Okay, so there is there should be six pikemen. Yeah, sacred band, Carthaginian, javelin man. Interesting. So he will just uh, box up. That's what will happen. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit obvious to do. So, for me, uh, uh, what I have to do is to rearrange my forces in such a way that I'm still out of range of his uh, skirmishes. That all of my swords have protection of spears, because elephants would be trouble. Then I need to attack the part of his box, which is Hoplitus. That he will likely box up uh, completely. And this is another problem of mine. I don't really know uh, how my, how to... like. I don't feel this attrition battle against boxes. Don't feel it well enough. Hmm. Quite obviously, I need to find a way to make use of my heroic riders. Hmm. Now maybe a bit early. Just stay out of his range. Just stay out of range. Let him box up more. Create two huge flanking threads. Hmm. Create a threat in the middle. Jen could probably go around, doesn't matter much. This is just for threatening. Mm, don't need to get any closer yet. Just keep going. Make sure none of my group are vulnerable to elephants. Let's actually not go too much. <laughs> Keep flanking, keep flanking. Actually can get slightly closer. This is javelins, this is not slingers. All of them... Yeah. Can get slightly closer. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going. Actually, here I want to attack. It's absolutely sure.
Let's see how much I can do here. Freak, this is Spike Man. Where is where is Zillum? Where is elephant? Get freaking elephant. Oh, they out. They out of pike formation. Now this out. Yeah. Get this elephant down. This horse keeps killing it. Hmm. Here he created sort of a pike box. Not sure about this one. There is a chance for me in this game, in fact. I just don't know why my spears are not really pushing. Sacred band. Okay. That explains things. A freaking pike monster. To keep carefully my crane. Not engage, just wait for it. Mm. Yeah, this one I think oh, I could get. I'm still. You, you hear how I'm unconfident? Like every time I think I got it, there is some sort of a crap happening. Yeah. Got it. Did I broke any rules? No. 10 infantry. Only 2 elites. Elites. Oh yeah. GG is cold. I'm not saving replays because I'm actually recording it. 
Yeah. Oké, okay, és egy guess, oké, okay, és... Uh... Yeah. Karsic... I don't know, I'm, I never was afraid of Karsic much, because Karsic requires very nice coordination of all forces. Mm. Yeah, maybe if he actually boxed up, not sure. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and there would be game number four.